Shout out my boy Ben. Uh, met this, I don't even want to call him a kid. He's 20 years old. Met this guy today who I've seen around the gym quite a few times recently, quite regularly, to be honest. He's one of those people where I feel like every single time I'm there, I see him and I go every day. So when I feel like that about somebody, I'm like, damn, we must train a fair bit. You're probably not here every day. I feel like I see you here every day because I'm just here every day. So every day there's probably a bit of a blur, right? <laughs> However, he's different. He's significant because he walked with a very pronounced limp. And it's not just your everyday limp. So in seeing him around as much as I have, I've always wondered, first and foremost, what's the cause of it, what's wrong. But secondly, I've always been inspired by him. Whenever he's there, I always find that I grip my teeth a little bit more and I work a tiny bit harder because seeing somebody with the chips so significantly stacked against them in an environment like the gym, yet still finding a way to be consistent, getting in as much as they can. And when they're in there, gritting their teeth and getting to work, fighting through any pain they may be feeling, any pain they may be experiencing, any discomfort, both mentally and physically, it's inspiring. It really and truly is. Um, and that is one thing I personally love about the gym. You encounter people from all walks of life with all sorts of issues and problems and successes and accomplishments. And here's this young man who which I found out today after talking to him, has cerebral palsy. He was diagnosed when he was two. Who I see getting under that Smith machine, squatting all the time through what looks like to be some pain by the look on his face, but he does it with a smile on his face. After every set, he's beaming. You talk to him, he's beaming. Always positive. And most importantly, always working. And it makes me grateful for one, for the cards I was dealt. And two, it makes me want to do more. Because like I alluded to earlier, if somebody has the chips so highly stacked against them, does as much as he does, plays football, all the time. I think he said he plays football three times a week. He comes to the gym three times a week. And he does something else quite a few times a week. And I was like, damn, bro. Like, do you know how many people who would use cerebral palsy as an excuse? Do you know how many people use, oh, I'm a bit tired today as an excuse? But you're out here absolutely dunking on all of us, to be quite frank, myself included. Yeah, man, <laughs> there's not much more to it, to be completely honest. The guy filled me with awe, he had a really strong handshake as well, which is something that I'm a little bit old school with, and I feel like it's a, uh, Men with a firm handshake is a bit of a dying breed these days. We're all a little bit too soft and gentle and we go into our handshakes with this curiousness as to what the other person is going to bring to the table. Very few people have the confidence these days to just shake your hand, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man, I was in awe of this guy. He, he, he does nothing but impress me. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best and I'm doing my best because I in no means feel this way towards him. I have no pity towards him. I have no, um, I don't feel sorry for him at all. Not at all. Because 
he's a fucking soldier. Straight up, he's a soldier. I have nothing to feel, I have nothing to pity him for because he's an absolute animal, he's an absolute beast. And so I'm doing my utmost to make sure I don't sound like I am. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. I'm here for it. He's proof that, like many of us, are proof. That there's no excuse, man. There's really no excuse. There's no excuse. Movement is king. Movement is key. Movement is medicine. No matter your circumstances, movement will... It will do you no wrong. And to be honest, the only thing that was really on my mind today was... Was Ben. So shout out Ben. If you made it this far, thank you very, very much. I appreciate you more than you can imagine. And I shall... See you tomorrow. God took away my heart Like I didn't need that anyway And my eyes were froze Cold I'm with my friends Hundred packs on the beds I need racks I need meds I need you I need to see your eyes in I know that life in I wanna fly his heads over new horizon I was bleeding out I Didn't cry tears or lie or fire I felt was felt by Lucifer I swear Your nigga left my heart Somewhere far away So them houses all away And no one answers when I pray Hundred packs on the beds, I need racks, I need meds, I need you I need to see your eyes in another life in I wanna fly his heads over new horizon I was bleeding out I didn't cry tears or lie or fire I felt was felt by Lucifer I swear